it's Mike coming at you with another episode of Planet Zoo Console Edition. Welcome back to my franchise series and welcome back to Eden Garden Zoological Park. In episode one, we started off the zoo by building this wolf enclosure and in between episodes, we had some very, very exciting news. Shall we go and have a look? So as we come into the wolf enclosure, just around here, look what we've got around the corner. We've got a little addition. We've got a wolf pup. Look at it. Oh, I love her so much. She's amazing. She's so cute. The baby animals in this game are absolutely gorgeous i just melt over them every single time she is adorable what a little addition to the park so we have santara oh i love her so much i just want her can i keep her i'm gonna keep her now since episode one we have had a couple of technical hiccups so i recorded all of episode two all of this was done but the video got corrupted, so I've had to come back, undo everything that I'd built for episode 2 to try and then recreate it once again. The eagle eyes amongst you may have already noticed, Matty, you ended episode 1 on 30,000. How have you now got 40,000? Are you cheating? What are you doing? How have you done this? It's purely because of that, so I'm now having to retry and redo what I'd already done for episode 2. So we've got all of these enrichment items unlocked. I can put all these in. There's a little bit more paint tool in here now, just to actually bring it up to the full 100%. Oh, I didn't like that as I put that down there. Look what it did to the terrain. I'm going to have to sort that in a moment. We'll just put this water sprinkler down here and then we'll have a look at that. But my plan for today's episode is I'm going to try and recreate what I did already. Now, you know when you build something in Planet Coaster or Planet Zoo and either the file will get corrupted or you'll delete it or something like that. And then you'll go back and you'll rebuild what you'd already done. It can either go one of two ways. Either it will come out a lot better than the first time you tried it, or it looks substantially worse and you cry the fact that you'd lost the first one. In this case, I think I managed to get it pretty much one for one what I'd done the first time, and I'm quite happy with it. But now we've got that terrain sorted, we've leveled that out, we've put the tree back down, we've put the fern back down. So we're going to put the exhibit in that I'd already done before, we're going to put another exhibit animal in. And I'm going to make a start on a flamingo enclosure. Because what I want to do is I want to put a big flamingo lake opposite these wolves. And then when the guests come in, they can go left and they can have a look at the wolves. Or they can look right and there'll be a big flamingo lake with an island in the middle. But the first thing I want to do is get this exhibit down because exhibits are a fantastic way of bringing income into the park. And somebody's going to have to let me know down below in the comments if this is a PC feature also. But on the console with the exhibits, you can set up automatic trading, which means when your exhibit animals are breeding, it will automatically sell the offspring because believe me when I say the exhibit animals they are randy they never stop breeding ever and if you had to manually keep on top of this that would be all you would ever do would be keeping on top of the exhibit animals because they just go absolutely crazy with breeding so on the console there is an amazing feature where you could set it to automatically either sell or trade out to your zoo all of the offspring so you don't have to keep on top of it so they will either go to the trade center and then you could decide what you want to do with them from there you can automatically set it so they release to the wild which will bring you in conservation points or you can set it so they automatically sell so you're bringing in money which is what we're going to do for the start of this franchise series it's because we're just going to need all the money that we can get with the plans and ambitions that i've got we're going to need a lot of money and i really want to think about hiring some more staff now, I'm fully aware with the financial position we're in right now, that could be risky, but I'm thinking maybe a short-term pain for long-term gain. I'm thinking about hiring a second mechanic purely to get that mechanic researching. And I'm thinking about getting them researching power so we can have some alternate power options when we do need to start thinking about that because the generators are expensive and they create a very wide range of area that the guests do not like and it just doesn't seem very eco does it so i'd like to get a second mechanic so they can start researching power options so we can start looking at the solar panels 
I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I'm not sure. You're going to have to let me know down below. But we've got our exhibit down. I'm waffling away. We've got our exhibit down. We've got the animals in. We've got our snakes in. We're just getting them to the right temperature. And I really want to black out the back window. So it's not window two, it's window four. And then do we look at a 2D facade? Or shall we go with a 3D facade? Yeah, 3D. I really like that one. And look at the state of this path. This looks absolutely awful. This looks hideous. I'm going to have to sort this in a moment. But first things first, we need to get our education down. So we'll get our exhibit education board just there. And we'll snap that to the side. And we'll put one on each side. And we've already got guests coming over to have a look. So let's make sure we get some donation bins down. Because right now, we're not gaining anything from this. Hopefully we can start bringing in some money from the guests as well as selling the offspring. So we'll just swap them to the correct ones. And now we need to look at getting them donation bins down because we've got lots of guests coming over to have a look already. We need to jump on this opportunity, make the most of it, make sure they are donating, bring in all the money that we can. Can we get that donation bin in there? Yes, we can. And then just pop another one over here. There we go. And just before we address the pathing, I think... I'm going to look at putting some vending machines down. I don't think we've got enough guests in the park right now to warrant having a shop. I just don't think there's enough. So I think just a couple of vending machines should do it. So we've got a drinks machine here. We've got a gulpy. Gulpy! So we'll put that one there. And what have we got in here? We've got just the one. We've got a chief beef. So we'll pop them there. And then the guests have got some food and drink. Right, next... Before we start thinking about the flamingos, I'm going to have to sort this path out. It looks absolutely awful. There's gaps everywhere. I really want to do something about this. We've got a little bit of money. I think we can afford to do it, make it look a little bit nicer. So we'll go into the construction. We'll go into the roof tiles and let's have a look what we've got. So we'll go into the flat roofs. We've got the plaster wall floor. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. That's exactly what I want. Right. So we need to line this up just right in that corner. So we're going to have to turn it ever so slight. We'll turn the angle snap off and we'll just turn it around. We'll pivot it. Pivot! 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 And we'll drop that down. Just a little bit too low. There we go. And I think with that, that should be able to go all the way down now. Let it be never said that I don't know how to entertain an audience. This is quality content. There's nothing like watching a 40-year-old grown man placing fake path in a video game. You don't get any better than this. If you are enjoying it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm sorry. That was... I, even that made me chuckle. That was terrible. That was so bad. I really do need to go back and delete that, but I'm, I'm just going to keep it in. Just... Just go with it, all right. Anyway, we need to make sure that this path stays consistent. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna take this one off the grid so we can actually then start rotating it. If anybody ever wants to do their own complete custom pathing and doesn't know how to do it, that's how you put all the path down on the grid where you would want. And then for them little areas where you can't quite get it to work, you'll take one piece, remove it off the grid, and then you can do anything you want with it. So such as now, we can rotate this one piece however we want, and we'll just keep copying this one piece only, so we can start working it around this viewing area for the wolves. We've got lots of people having to come and look at Sandara. I don't blame them. She is absolutely gorgeous. I love her so much, and I want to bring her home with me but I'm not sure my wife will let me. If anybody watched the first episode, you know full well that my daughter would. She would absolutely love that. But there we go. The pathing is all done. Right. So before we start the flamingo enclosure, we have one last thing to do. I can see a little bit of rubbish on the floor there. So we need to start putting some bins down and then we will start on this flamingo enclosure. I've got big plans for this. Whether I can do what I have in my mind is a very different question. I picture it in my head... But whether I've got the talent to actually pull it off, that's debatable. You're going to have to be the judge of that. But unfortunately, we're not going to get it finished today. We're only going to do the start of it today. We'll finish it off in the next one. So we'll put these bins just around here like so. There we go. 
and I think everyone will be sorted now. I think the wolves are happy. The snakes in there are happy. We didn't even look at the snakes, did we? We need to go and have a look at them. I will build a flamingo enclosure in a minute, I promise. I keep getting sidetracked. Anybody who's new to the channel, th this is just me. I get sidetracked so easy. I'm like a magpie. I'm like, ooh, shiny. I, I get sidetracked way too easy. Where is the second one? Ah, over there by the glass. Look, I knew there should have been two in here. Come on, guys. Start breeding for me, please. Bring in them sweet dollar dollar bills, please. I need it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Oh, oh, we need to set this up first. Right. <laughs> I, will, I will get to the flamingos, I promise. I will get there. Right. So the way you do this is you set an exemption on the male there. And then we're going to sell all the male offspring for cash. And then we're going to do the same there with the female. Sell it for cash. And then we'll turn on the population or manage population. There you go. And then all of the offspring will be automatically sold. So guys, get busy, please. Just like that. Right. So my plan for this flamingo enclosure. I want to do a big lake with a central reservation in the center with a slightly elevated viewing platform for the guests to walk up here. Ever so slightly, it doesn't need to be too much, but I mean, we need to have a look first to see if there is even any flamingos. The last thing I want to do is then go and build the entire enclosure and there'll be no flamingos. In the last episode, I said there was only wolves available, and I realised what my mistake was. When I filmed the review for the console edition of Planet Zoo, if you haven't watched that already, make sure to go back and watch it. It's doing amazing. Thank you ever so much. But anyway, when I was filming the review for that, I selected wolves specifically, and I'd got that as a filter, and I'd forgot that I'd got that as a filter. So when I came into film episode one, I was like, well, we've only got wolves, so we've got nothing else. What am I supposed to do? And, and that would be why. I realised my own mistake. Right, let's have a quick look in the superior just before we start. I'm pretty sure the flamingos don't actually require a lot of room. I think it's really small, if memory serves me right. So one, it's 300 square meters. So we've got four, let's say they breed quickly. So let's put 10 juveniles in, 370 square meters. Yeah, this is gonna be more than sufficient for what I've got planned here. I think this exhibit's probably gonna be over a thousand and they can go up to 500 of them. We're not gonna let that happen. We're not gonna let ourselves get overrun by flamingos. But let's make a start on this, shall we? So first off, I want to raise the terrain just ever so slightly here. I'm gonna set it today so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And we're gonna raise that up just a little bit and then we'll flatten this and we'll start building an elevated platform for the guests to be able to look out over the flamingo enclosure. So I'm just looking for something that I can use as a simple step up. I think this will be the perfect piece. So we'll rotate that around, move that across, and then we'll create this as a step and then get another piece for the top ledge for the guests to walk on so they can have a look at the flamingos. Now that we have the foundation laid down and the staff path going up to where I want the exhibit to start, it's now time to start working on a custom barrier. I don't wish to use any of the in-game ones, I'd like to create my own. So using this mesh piece and a couple of wooden beams, we're going to create a custom fence to go around the enclosure.
With the outside viewing area now complete, it's now time for the fun part where we start terrain forming where we want the water to go. I'm going to leave a central island where I plan on putting the feeder and any enrichment items for the flamingos. It's going to be very important that we ensure that we leave an access for the staff to be able to get over there, otherwise they're not going to be able to top up the feed. With the water now in place, it's now time to sort out how we can get the keeper over to that central reservation. What I love in this game is we're not required to put a staff path down for him to be able to access it. We can put down this custom bridge and the staff will be able to use this to walk over to that central reservation. And with that, our habitat is complete. Kind of. The barrier is there, the water is there, and the bridge is there. So let's pop in the flamingos. Let's see if they like it. So we'll pop them in, send to zoo, send them over here. Let's hope they don't escape through the invisible barriers for now. We just want to see if we can get them in there. I love this viewing area. Absolutely love that. The guests are going to get a great shot of the flamingos. And I cannot wait to start decorating this and theming all of this up. We'll do that in the next episode. That will be episode three. We'll start filling this out, getting all the foliage in, making this look really nice. I think we'll put rocks all the way around and then start putting loads of foliage in, start filling it out. So let's see if this can be used, shall we? So in they come. We've got our fierce flamingo incoming. There we go. Don't turn right. Make sure to go left into the water, please. There we go. We've got our first flamingo. There he is. Hello there. Oh, you're not going to use my bridge. That was rude. I built you a bridge there. You could have walked across that. No, he's going for a swim straight away. Straight into the water. And let's have a look. So. Oh, the paint tool is pretty much spot on. So we're going to be required to put a hard shelter. We'll try and squeeze that onto that central reservation as well. I think there's plenty of room there to build a hard shelter. We'll put the food on there. We'll put the enrichment items on there. And then we'll decorate all around the outside with rocks and foliage. We'll put some mesh fencing around the outside so they can't escape. And here come the rest of them. Really, really happy with how this turned out. It was actually better than what I pictured in my mind. It might look a bit rubbish right now, but what I've got planned for the next episode will make it look absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for you to see what I have got planned. It's going to look amazing. But thank you ever so much for watching, everybody. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. I'm going to see you in a couple of days. Until then, take care, stay safe, look after yourselves, and see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody!